Desert Shores versus the Lakes Master Plan Community. That's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm gonna to go over the difference between Desert Shores and the Lakes Master Plan Community. Oftentimes people think that they are the same community, but they are far from the same. They are way different master plan communities. First, I'm gonna kinda of like go over a couple of the difference between the two, and then I'm gonna go over the amenities that each of them have, and then we'll go from there. Desert Shores is a resort style community here in Las Vegas, and it's located just east of Summerlin North, bordered by Rampart Boulevard to the west, Cheyenne Avenue to the north, Buffalo Drive to the east, and Lake Mead Boulevard to the south in the 89128 zip code. And the Lakes is a private and secluded master plan community located on the west side of Las Vegas, just also east of Summerlin South. This community is bounded by Sahara Avenue on the north, Durango Drive to the east, Desert Inner Road to the south, and Hualapai Way to the west in the 89117 zip code. And each of these communities have its own benefits that could be suitable for anyone who wants to buy a home in either of them. And deciding to move to desert shores or the lakes could be a hard decision. So hopefully I'm gonna clarify the difference between the two and what each of these communities has to offer its residents. For me, the major difference is the number of lakes. Desert Shores has four man-made lakes. It has Lake Jacqueline, which is the largest lake, Lake Madison, Lake Sarah, and Lake Lindsay. While the lakes only has one large um, man-made lake, and that's Lake Sahara. So that's a huge difference, four versus one lake. Which one do you think is better? <laughs> I mean, yeah, the lakes has these little ponds, like they have four little ponds scattered throughout its master plan community, but there's only one large lake in the lakes while the Desert Shores has four. So I'm gonna go over Desert Shores amenities, then I'm gonna go over the lakes amenities, and so you can compare the two as I'm going over each of them. Basically, Desert Shores encompasses about 682 acres, and um, again, it features four man-made lakes, a lagoon style swimming pool surrounded by a sand beach, palm trees, a picnic park with volleyball, basketball, and playground facilities. Desert Shores was developed in 1988 by RA Homes and there are 22 distinct um, residential districts in Desert Shores. With everything from condominiums to medium priced housing and large custom homes behind private gates. All the lakefront homes have direct access to the lakes and the option of private docks. There's a little over 3,300 homes in the Desert Shores community, and that includes condos and townhomes as well. And so Desert Shores, you know, the budget fits anyone's needs, basically anywhere from the low 200s for a condo to $2 million. It's pretty, um, anyone can live in Desert Shores community. So here's a list of what Desert Shores has to offer its residents. It has a 200,000 gallon um, lagoon style swimming pool. And during the summer season, it's open six days a week and closed on Mondays for maintenance. There's also a 2,100 square foot community clubhouse and there's boating, paddle boating and fishing. But if you want to go fishing, you actually have to be a resident of Desert Shores in order to fish or they will kick you out. You have to have a Desert Shores card in order to go fishing at any of the lakes there. And then they also have a lagoon park with amenities like volleyball courts, basketball courts, picnic tables, playground area, the lagoon pool, you name it. They have tons of amenities at that lagoon park. They have Lakeside Shopping Center and in that shopping center there's numerous restaurants, um, nail salon, floors, and then also a wedding service where you can get married there in Desert Shores. It's a very nice, um, attractive amenity for those that live in the Desert Shores community. I often go there and eat at the Rooster Boy Cafe. Uh, the Americana is nice, and then I also like the Village Pub. And there's a French restaurant that I have yet to try out. <laughs> so now I'm going to go over the Lakes amenities, and this list is a lot shorter than Desert Shores amenities. 
The Lakes is an affluent two square mile community and it was built in the mid 80s to the mid 90s. The Lakes includes a variety of residential properties that range from condos and modest single family homes to immaculate estates with private docks located directly on the waterfront. There's about over 4,000 homes in the Lakes community and buyers have option of choosing between gated, non-gated, or guard gated communities. Lake Sahara lies on the western end of the neighborhood and you'll find some of the area's most extravagant homes along its shores. So another difference between the lakes and desert shores is the accessibility of the lakes. Now in the lakes master plan community, the only people that actually have access to the lake are the people that live on the lake. Unlike desert shores with the four man-made lakes, not only do the people that live on the lake have access, but so does everyone else and it's very resident oriented where um, people walk around Desert Shores all the time. I've done video on both of them, but the main difference is again, four lakes compared to one large one with no access. Four lakes with access to all four of those lakes. I don't know, which one would you prefer? <laughs> Uh, um, anyway, so let's go into the amenities of the lakes. So the lakes has about 15 miles of tree line walking paths where Desert Shores has about 8.5 miles of walking paths. So that's the difference between the two. Um, 15 miles, 8 miles, eh, I'd rather have access to a lake than have that many miles of walking paths but that's just me. Also, they have like the Lake Town Center, just like they have Lakeside and Desert Shores, they have Lake Town Center at the lakes with, um, there's a dry cleaners, there's uh, I think a little place to eat, not much, just it's very small compared to Lakeside. And sailboats and electric power boats are permitted on the lake, but only for residents. And also there are two parks in the lakes. Um, and one is overlooking the water, but there's a fence, so you can't even look or even touch the water. Not that you could touch the water in desert shores, but you really, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's very, very private. Um, so those are the difference between the lakes and desert shores. The lakes was developed a little before desert shores in the mid 80s, like I think it was 1984, 1985, while desert shores was developed in 1988. Uh, for me personally, and I technically probably shouldn't be saying this, but I like desert shores better just because of the accessibility of the lakes. I mean, I go there every day to look at the ducks, the fish, the turtles. I've done numerous videos on desert shores. So I guess I have um, favoritism towards desert shores, maybe because I also lived in the area for so long. Um, however, I find that yes, the trails are beautiful in the lakes and they also have a little exercise station and they have like hills and it's pretty but I also like the Desert Shores trails as well, the walking paths. Um, so those are the main difference between the two really is that Desert Shores has four man-made lakes while the lakes has only one large lake. You have access to all the lakes in Desert Shores and you don't have access to the one large lake in the lakes. Um, housing is probably pretty comparable or pricing is pretty comparable in both of the areas. Uh, the only thing with the lakes is, is that it's super close to downtown Summerlin, close to Las Vegas ballpark, the City National Arena, and then Red Rock Casino. Desert Shores is close to Summerlin North, so that's close to Sun City and Summerlin North, the trails, the Hills Village, and then a lot of other things on the 95. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed learning the difference between Desert Shores and the Lakes Master Plan communities. If you want to learn more about each of these communities, I have done a video on each of them. I'll post a link down in the description below. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Or I've posted a buyer and seller form link down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe guys. Come on. I don't just talk about master plan communities. Well, I do talk a lot about master plan communities, 
I also talk about Las Vegas. So if you're interested in learning more about anything related to Las Vegas, come on, subscribe down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.